As you develop your number sensibility, it's a good idea to practice estimating before performing a calculation. Estimating involves rounding, and there's a particular type of estimation we're going to follow. This is called front-end estimation. So if you have the number 215, we're going to identify the front number, which is this 2. And the 2 is in the hundreds place. So let's go ahead and round to the nearest hundreds place. Is this number close to 200 or 300? It's actually close to 200. So let's go ahead and rewrite this as 200. Now, you might see this little squiggly, these two squiggly lines. That means approximately, or not exact. Let's try one more. Let's say we have the number 61, or let's make it 64. The front number is in the tens place. Um, again, if we want to uh, round this, we're going to round to the nearest tens. That's going to give us 60. And let's try one where we're going to be doing some rounding. Let's say we have um, 37. Again, looking at the front number, we're going to be rounding this to 40. So this is approximately 40. So in these examples, we're just doing some rounding. But let's take it to the next step. Let's use this for adding. All right. Now in our first example, we'll just work with some single digit numbers. Let's say we have 9 plus 3. Now I know you know what 9 plus 3 is, but as an example of estimating, we could round this 9 to 10 and the 3 to 0. And so approximately 10 will be our result. So we know that 9 plus 3 is 12, but if we're going to do a real quick estimation, we can round 10 plus 0, that's approximately 10. And we kind of are in the ballpark. Normally, uh, you know, when it's easy like this, you'd probably just be better off doing the calculation. So let's do a harder problem. Let's say we have 16 plus 45. Now you might be able to figure this out in your head by doing the exact numbers, adding them together. But let's first estimate by using front end estimation. So we're going to go ahead and round this to 20. And 5 and above give it a shove, so this gets rounded to 50. So our answer is approximately 70. And if we were to just do the calculation, 5 plus 6 is 11. Carry the 1, that'd be 5 plus 1, that's 6, so 61. So, you know, it's kind of close. Let's do one more. Let's say we have 306 plus 894. Again, I'm going to use front end estimation. That means I'm going to round. That becomes 300. This becomes 900. And my answer is approximately 1,200. Now, if I were to add these together, 4 plus 6 is 10. Carry the 1. 1 plus 9 is 10. Carry the 1. And uh, 1 plus 8 is 9. Plus 3 is, in fact, 12. So in this case, our estimation and our actual number is the same. And that's not always going to happen. But um, basically, you can see that um, in, to round, I went down 6, and then uh, here I went up 6. So I really didn't change the problem. I just kind of reconfigured it. But basically, the point of this whole video is that you want to get in the habit of doing some mental calculations 
first using easier numbers, numbers that you can quickly uh, work with in your operation. Working with tens or hundreds or even thousands are much easier than working with uh, like 13 or 27 or 52. Um, anyway, this is just to give you a general idea of where your answer is going to be. Now when you do the calculation and you find that your answer is very different from your um, estimation, that's also an opportunity for you to go back and just check your work. Maybe you made a mistake in your calculation.